All right, let's do this. Good freaking morning. I'm half asleep. I have an interesting question. The reason I'm going over this is because I have a much more straightforward way of going about it, in my opinion. Here's the sort of setup. I have a random variable, x, and x represents the time in years before the car experiences its first failure. So you'll see all this at the beginning of the question, right? So this is the time in years before first failure. Now, I'll disregard that. <coughs> it's distributed exponentially. Okay, that's given the question, of course. So let me just write that. And usually I say something like x is distributed expo lambda equals two. So we immediately know the PDF. And we immediately know the probability density function. And from here, well, what's the actual question? Uh, they asked me, what is the probability that the first failure occurs in the last quarter of some year? So I want the probability that the first failure is in last quarter of some year. Emphasis on the sum. This is where I personally, the first time I saw this question, you got screwed over. This is what matters. Now if you find this question, you can find it. This is one of the SOA exam P practice problems, specifically question 199. Okay. Go ahead and take a look at that if you like. They go about it, in my opinion, a non-intuitive way. It doesn't really make sense to me why they go about it the way they did. So I'm gonna go about it in a different way. Hey Brody. Dog just walked up. And uh, hey bud. What we're gonna do, what we're gonna do here, right, Mr. B? What we're gonna do is we're gonna just write out a couple things, see what's going on, right? So the last quarter of some year, let's say we're within the first year, okay? Within the first year, if we are within year one, the first year, then what's going on? We need to be in the last quarter, so the, you know, there's sort of four quarters, obviously. First, second, third, fourth, we need to be in the last quarter, so I want the probability that we are 0 0.75 is less than x is less than one. If you think about a second, this is exactly what we want. I want the probability that the time in years for the first failure is right after three quarters of the year, but before the end of the year. So in other words, the fourth quarter. What about the second year? What about the second year? I think you know. And then you just add one. So the probability that one plus 0 0.75 is less than x is less than two. So again, I mean, Hopefully this is pretty self-explanatory, but this is the time in years of the first failure, and it's right after the beginning of the third quarter of the second year, right? It's before the second year. So it's the last quarter of the second year, right? Because I'm all, everything hinges on this, some year, some year. So it could be year one, year two, year three, year K, right? 
Weird K, the K here. What's going on in the K here? The K here, well, same thing, right? Well, I'm gonna write it this way, I'm gonna write it this way. This is the probability that we have K plus 0 0.75 is less than X. Now if this is gonna be K plus uh, 0 0.75, so I'm thinking K is zero. If K is zero, I get this, right? Uh, then what does this have to be over here? This has to be, this makes sense, this would have to be K plus one. So I guess you could do this a couple of different ways, different ways. And now that I think about it actually, this would have to be the K plus one here. This should be the K plus one here, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, this is the K plus one here. Or K plus first year, whatever. It doesn't really matter, but if you think about it, if K is zero, I get this case. If K is one, I get this case. K is two, I get the one in between, right? Da, da, da. We're looking for a pattern as usual. So now we will find out what we actually want. We pretty much have this. If I wanted it in some year though, it could be this year, etc. right? So let's write this down. So now uh, let's go back up here. So what is the desired probability? Therefore, hence, we want this. We want the sum from k equals 0 to infinity, taking all the years, of the probability that k plus 0 0.75 is less than x is less than k plus 1. That's what we want. No big deal. All right, we just need to compute this, and we have it. Okay, this is not the way the solution goes online, but in my opinion, this is something that I could actually come up with on a test. Okay. Now, what is this? So we know we have we have x, right? X is exponentially distributed, and this means I have the density function as follows: f of x is equal to one half e to the negative x over two. I omit the x in here just because it's convenience. I'm just saying this is a random variable x. I mean, a lot of times people put an x right here. I never do, but that's really what I mean. All right, so now I want this probability, uh, which means I just use a definition. It's really not a big deal. I guess I'll write it out just to make sure that we know what's going on here. Um, so this is equal to this is equal to this sum k equals zero to infinity the integral k plus 0 0.75 to k plus 1 of uh, 1 half e to the negative x over 2 dx now again this is a very straightforward integral you substitution no big deal integrate first then we'll sum. Sums can be a nightmare. Let's see if we can recognize something with this sum here. So this is equal to the sum k equals zero to infinity. This integral here is going to be e to the negative k plus 0 0.75 over two minus e to the negative k plus one over two. Just do a use of the solution. That's what you should get. All right? There's something we can factor out. There's something we can factor out. If you look here, we need to find the GCF and convince yourself of this here, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor out. They both have e to the negative k over two. So what I can write this as is that this is equal to the sum k equals zero to infinity 
Hello, I'm going to factor out e to the negative k over 2. So what I'm going to be left with here is the following. e to the negative 0 0.75 over 2 minus e to the negative 1 half. And what's going to be left over is going to be e to the negative 1 half the k. So I don't like the way that looks. Let me just make that look a little bit better. Okay, so again, this is equal to the sum k equals zero to infinity. I'm factoring the GCF out. Greatest common factor. I have e to the negative 0 0.75 divided by 2 minus e to the negative 1 half Okay, I can factor out e to the negative one half, and I want to put the k here. I'm putting the k here for a very good reason. Okay, so again, I mean, convince yourself that these are the same. This is the same as this, right? So these two expressions are the same. Convince yourself of that. It's just an algebra. Okay, and now recognize this. Recognize this. What is this? And sums can be tricky to deal with, but this is a special type of sum you need to recognize. This is geometric. Geometric series. The common ratio is this nonsense. I don't even care about this. This is a constant, whatever. No big deal. So what does this converge to? So this is equal to the first term. The first term is going to plug in k equals 0. So the first term is this piece. So the first term, e to the negative... 0 0.75 divided by 2 minus e to the negative 1 half. Divided by sub b. Let's write that again. The first term, e to the negative 0 0.75 divided by 2 minus e to the negative one half divided by one minus the common ratio. The common ratio is this. One minus the common ratio. So this is my answer, and this approximately equals 0 0.205. So that's my probability. Okay, the answer you will find online probably is using a well the law of total probability. They use a conditional. It's completely unnecessary. It's not as intuitive. I don't think it even really makes sense, honestly. It, it, I mean, it does, but it's equivalent, obviously. It's equivalent to this. And this can be treated as an and statement anyway. So it's equivalent to writing that as a conditional. So no big deal. This is the way that I personally like because I could come up with this. As long as I can get here and I could write this out, write this out using definitions, and it's just algebra, it's not a big deal. And calculus, I guess. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Next time.